Welcome to the Open Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent, and if you're into whiskey reviews and this is your first time visiting the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. All right, today we have the Old Ezra Seven Year Barrel Strength Bourbon. It's a Luxco product. Um, it's thought to be sourced from Heaven Hill. And when I say thought to be sourced, we're not for sure, but it's probably a pretty good call to say that they are sourcing from Heaven Hill Distillery. Um, they did just finish their distillery in 2018, so they will be filling their product line with their own juice as soon as they, uh, they have enough age on it to, um, to do so. Um, Luxco's product line consists of Rebel Yell, Ezra Brooks, David Nicholson, and The Blood Oath. Um, and also this right here. Um, this is a seven year, it has a seven year age statement on it. Um, the bottle is pretty neat. It, it says Luck Row Distillers embossed in the bottle right here. And also on the bottom, it has the EB embossment for Ezra Brooks. Um, the mash bill on this is 78% corn, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley. So it does have a low rye content in the mash bill. Um, the proof is 117 proof, 58.5%. ABV. All right. Um, the color on this is like a, a, a pretty deep amber, maybe a, a light copper. It's It's got a nice color to it. Um, the viscosity is okay. It doesn't have super long legs on it. It is coating the glass fairly well. Um, it it is coating the glass pretty well. The color is, I would say, just a deep copper, or not deep copper, a light copper, and maybe an amber color. Nice color on the whiskey. Um, probably right there where it needs to be for about a seven year age statement. Not too dark. Um, and it is coating the glass fairly well. All right, let's get into the notes. All right, um, vanillas, caramel, A little bit of pepper. It has a nuttiness aspect to it. A little bit of a fruit characteristic. I don't really know what it is right now. Um, maybe a cherry. The nose on this is uh, definitely not jumping out of the glass. It does not nose like a barrel strength whiskey. It's actually kind of light for 117 proof. But I mean, the, the, the nose is nice. It's just not nosing like a barrel strength whiskey at all. Very light for 117 proof. Once again, um, on the nose, sweetness, uh, caramel, vanilla, a little bit of a cherry note, um, peanut characteristic to it, a little bit of a nuttiness, some baking spices. A little bit of pepper and some, a little bit of cherry also. Nice nose on this whiskey, just a, a little bit a little bit light for a barrel strength whiskey. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. All right. Um, the taste kind of follows suit. Um, it's got nice pronounced flavors. Um, caramels, vanillas, baking spices. Um, a little bit of pepper on the end, on the finish, with a little bit of nuttiness, and it's drinking very easily. It's it's a very easy sipper at 117 proof. You're really not getting a whole lot of heat off of it. Um, it's a really nice, easy sipper for a barrel barrel strength whiskey. I'm gonna go back in for another taste. Cheers.
All right, once again, um, kind of following suit with the first sip I had, um, caramels, vanillas, um, baking spices, a peanut note. It's got a nuttiness to it. Um, maybe even a little bit of a cherry, a little bit of a fruity aspect to it. Um, and it's as far as the finish goes, I would say it's middle of the road, not super long, not short, just kind of middle of the road finish. And it's in the, in coating the mouth. It's not coating the mouth all that great for a barrel strength whiskey. It is coating the mouth. It's just, it's not an excellent mouthfeel on it. It's, it it kind of dries out really quick. Um, let's go back in for one more sip real quick. Cheers. All right, once again, caramels, vanillas, baking spices, maybe even a little bit of clove that time. Um, that nuttiness note, the more I keep going back to it, um, that resembles Heaven Hill products is definitely there. Um, it's got a nuttiness to it. Um, a little bit of a, a fruit, fruity aspect also. And the finish is still middle of the road, coating the mouth, okay. Um, it does dry out rather quick, but um, all in all, I would say this is a decent barrel strength whiskey. I would even go to say it's a, it's a very, very nice one for the value. Um, the price range on this is only $40. You're getting an extremely nice whiskey for 40 bucks. It's kind of hard to beat that. Does it? stand up with like your Elijah Craig barrel proofs and your stags and stuff like that. Um, in my opinion, no, but for $40 price range, it, it does give you good, nice flavors. Um, 117 proof barrel strength whiskey. I think it's definitely one to pick up if you can get your hands on it. Um, availability on this one. Um, I would say it's definitely obtainable. Um, and that it, it's not super rare and hard to find, but uh, I think if you if you did pick this up, you definitely wouldn't be disappointed in it. Well, all right, that's gonna wrap up this episode. I'm gonna thank everyone for their support, and if you are a subscriber, remember hit the notifications bell in the right hand corner. That way you'll be notified of new stuff, new uploads, and live streams. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, hit that subscribe button. Well, until next time, cheers.